so Joey and I are getting ready to go through his school backpack. School starts back Monday, and we have a little helper that wants to go back to school, too. Midnight. Hey, buddy. You want to go back to school, too? You do? You ready to go with Joey? Mr. Don would be happy for you to go to school with Joey. <laughs> so we have a lot of helpful kittens today trying to get the school supplies ready to go. Don't we, sweetie? Well, here comes midnight. <laughs> You gonna get sissy? Sort of having a bit of a down day here today after an extremely hectic week. One of the things we needed to get done today was Joey's school supplies. Um, they're gonna give all the kids at WIMLA a green three ring binder, so I'm just sending him in with something he can hold his stuff in for a day. This is his binder from last year. He's made labels for his divider tabs, and we've gotten everything together except for one composition notebook and one spiral bound subject book, which we'll pick up from Walmart be sometime before the end of the weekend. So I think we're all set. One of the things they fixed on my Model X yesterday is um, the trunk, the lift, was really loud when it went up. Several people had commented in my videos. So they put a new strut on and I think they also adjusted a piece of trim back here and it sounds pretty quiet now. Much quieter. So we're headed out to the UPS store in the post office with a couple boxes. My trusty helper Johnny is uh, along for the ride, which I always appreciate him tagging along. Really starting to think about missing him next week. You can go ahead and show, close it. Let's listen again. It's definitely quieter than it was. So this seal was really ugly when it came to us on delivery day. And uh, we had asked them to look at it and they agreed to replace it. It looks much better now. They actually have to replace the piece of glass up there to replace that seal. They also tweaked on the trim and the seal to make the door less squeaky when it opened. Johnny, go ahead and open it for me. Yeah, it opens really nice now, so I think we're good to go. So several times a week I was having false object detection on the front passenger of the car. Um, by false object detection, I mean it was throwing up red and stop on the screen and chiming at me and I had gotten out several times because I don't like to ignore warnings from the car and there was really nothing there. Um, so this was happening at slow speeds, usually in parking lots uh, upon leaving or entering a parking space. So they replaced, I guess, this panel up here in the front. Um, you see there's a sensor here on the black and then near the fog light and then there's uh, one more here there we go kind of hard to spot so they had replaced that uh, so hopefully I won't have any more false object detection I won't know until I drive it for a week or two right it certainly drove home with no issues yesterday and uh, those were the three things they fixed for us yesterday so we've had at least three updates go on at home and possibly an update or two at Tesla service and the what's new in this update page has been identical every single time I viewed it. It tells us we have improvements to perpendicular parking, auto adjust display brightness for this big screen, and uh, updated energy estimation. So I don't know what's going on. For some reason it's felt the need to put the latest update on multiple times or we're not getting the updated page that we would think we would. I'm just not sure. Might be a question to uh, run by service. Not a big deal. I mean, it puts the update on it in the middle of the night and the car's ready to go in the morning, but just kind of perplexed as to why it would put the same update on multiple times. So I'm taking a picture of our About Tesla screen um, just so I can make note of this release number um, so I can go back and compare it to earlier screens and see if the number's actually changing. Because I did um, do this frequently. 
so I can tell if it's really the same release going on and on or a different one. Anybody else have any experience with having seemingly the same release go on more than once? I was able to find our release at delivery day and our release as of last night. So I had Don pull up the Tesla Phi output for me and he was able to see that when we started using Tesla Phi on 7-23-2017, we were at CF5-28869 and today we're at CF44833. Now I know for sure the last three times updates went on, the release notes didn't change. So that begs the question, what actually went into those releases? Um, any point, I'm going to be monitoring more closely now. It's a meeting of the minds about Pokemon Go. Yes, they don't have yeah. much. You probably Actually, have Actually, the course one, you have, you okay. don't have two Go. Oh, yeah, Alright, it's time for a little family Taekwondo class tonight. They do this once, maybe twice a year, and some pizza. Yep. Everybody's dressed up, and yesterday Joey was feeling a little puny, and today, unfortunately, it's Johnny. But um, we're going to go, and we're going to have a good time. What'd you think of tonight's Taekwondo class? It was great, but now I'm enjoying my favorite part of the exercise. It's over. And he gets to pile up and read the newspaper. Yep, and I'm probably going to have ice cream later. Yep, got to give yourself a treat after the workout, right? That's right. Thanks for going with us. We had a good time. I actually did enjoy it.